um, your preferences stock-wise under the common prosperity theme. And while you've highlighted uh, sectors at large, I would want to drill it down uh, to understanding uh, you know, your stock preferences here. You like the agriculture theme, fertilizer and equipment makers that will benefit from the new high in agriculture policy. You like the mid-cap and the private sector, which employs, of course, 80% of China, and the rural area consumption. So give us more on, on these themes in terms of where is the opportunity? Yeah, being on the ground, you know, in Shanghai, I think the real area consumption and the common prosperity from my perspective is about consumption upgrade in tier four, tier three cities, you know, rather than, you know, uh, overall, you know, bigger pie. So we are positive on the sectors that are benefiting from this policy. For example, in mid small caps, you know, we are seeing year to day, CSI 300 is down 7%. But CSI 1,000 is up 17% because there will be more, you know, policy supporting in those sectors. And eventually those companies, you know, employ the private sector, 80% of the population in China market. So in the real area consumption play, we like agricultural manufacturing sectors, which, you know, they're providing the deal circulation, the, the in China kind of like consumption power, instead of, you know, banking sector, instead of the big tech. I believe this trend will continue next year. And lastly, I think in the China market, if you remember, it's kind of like fast food and then slow bear. I think what happened this year is, you know, in February, due to the policy stimulus, the Asian market will go up quickly, and then we have this, you know, choppy. I think next year in the first half, potentially, there will be more stimulus uh, on the mid and small cap and overall economy that would create a fast food, you know, environment, you know, for the Asian market. Mm. Uh, William, I do also want to get uh, to understand very quickly the big risk for 2022. I mean, you, you know, offline during the break, we were talking about how China's coming from a, a real zone of underperformance in 2021. Uh, is it time to be contrarian in China or be contrarian uh, with a little bit of caution? Yeah, I think a lot of bad news is priced in in the China market. If you look at stock, you know, the deviation with the China market and global market, actually, the dispersion is really high. And secondly, I think some of the policy, like the real area consumption I mentioned, year to day, the disposable income for the real area is increased by 11.5% versus the urban area 95 So those early policy being implemented is seeing, you know, impact on the economy. However, the risk from my perspective is liquidity. I think the government, uh, the market is betting on the PPOC continue injecting liquidity to the system. And then before the Chinese New Year, in case the liquidity is being tightened and the government is not doing anything, I think that would uh, con con uh, control some risk or con uh, trigger some, you know, correction in the air market, if you like. 